and welcome back guys we're um we're back with sherry and then we left off um stuck with um she finds in this children's room so let's just get this out right okay So we must need a tool or something to get through there because obviously Sherry's too weak. To um to move a simple cardboard box. Circle and start perfect boom what <laughs> ridiculously complex Mm, is there anything in here of use? Something crew. It's blocked anyway. What does that say? Bedroom. Not bedroom. Sally. Wednesdays are perfectly great because we get snacks and ice cream. I hate the last place I was at. The teachers were all meanies. It's just study, 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 and there was no ice cream. I love, love, love it here. It was an important room. Is this the orphanage? Everyone must write a diary, get health checkups, and we ain't allowed outside by ourselves. It's because we don't want, we don't have to go to school. I don't want to go, get picked on for my own clothes, especially not the guy, not by the guy who used to wear them. The orphanage director's come to say, so I'm going to wear my favourite. Favourite is Checkered's blue outfit. Director is a policeman. She finds was the director of the orphanage. So finally in the orphanage. the nursery oh so they're, they're kids from all ages okay so I wonder if they were using the kids for like experiments on, on the viruses you know Huge this. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in and investigate the other room first. Mm, look at that. Okay, 
Should this be locked? Yeah, okay, thought so. I wonder if you come back through here with Claire. But this is like all new grounds for Resident Evil. There wasn't an orphanage in the previous game, in the original. Be the door out of here. Shh. Being so loud, Sherry. Oh, that's creepy. It wasn't one of those dolls in the police station. In you know, in the storage room. Darn it! I need the key. So we need a key. Tom's diary. So this is a month after we after um, Sally's. It's been two months since I sent the letter to Oliver, and I've gotten back another. And again, they all they're all like that and get adopted. But he's living like a king in some fancy folks home. I've forgotten all about us. Right, thought Oliver was different, being a friend for life. Guess I'm just a fool. And I sat with all the kids and told them the story today. She said, all the kids that get adopted are turned into food for the boogeymen. That's why no one hears from them ever again. Not sure why she, where she gets these ideas. No, but she's sure got a mind for writing trashy horror novels. Something weird going on around here, and it's not just because of Anna's stories. Don't get me wrong, I've been in worse places, and the place is funded by some big drunk company. But why can't we call or go outside? Why are so many doctors around? What's with those shots every day? It's almost like we're... I'm getting adopted, me, most people go for younger kids, so I feel like too old, but I can't say, I'm not a li little happy. I say goodbye to Blue Voice, I'm going to try, be a good son, someone my new mum probably will be proud of. Oliver came back in the middle of the night, all messed up, screaming help me and stuff, I didn't even recognise his face was peeling and melted off. He's with the teachers and doctors now, he'll get better soon and then we can go, to oh my god. They're using them for experiments, man. It was funny. He was he was like really distrustful, and then um and then once he once he found out he was getting adopted, all that went out of his mind then. Till Oliver came back with his melting face. Daughter, there's the key. Where are you going, Sherry? I told you to stay put. You need to learn to listen. Leave me alone, just please. Time to teach some manners. Oh shit. Oh, you little bitch. You're gonna pay for this. Oh, you little shit. Oh, God, his face. You hear? You are gonna be so fucking. 
sorry. Oh Go my god. It's gonna be. Please don't be found on this. This is your last fucking chance. Show yourself now. It's that door, but it's locked, isn't it? Yeah, there's no other way. I just have to. Shit, shit, come on. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What? Slip. Slip out. He's right behind me. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so intense. can come from <sighs> Wow 30 minutes earlier good to see you again Claire we've got unfinished business what are you talking about don't waste my fucking time bring me the pendant or sherry dies 
pendant. What do you need it for? Do you want the girl to die? Fine. Where are you? The orphanage. The orphanage? Where is that? In the neighborhood. You'll find it. Sherry, all right? For now. I swear, you bastard, if you hurt her... Are you serious? Damn it! Just you wait, asshole! Wow. Oh, I forgot about him. Oh, time to save off. Okay, so we've got flame rounds, got pistol rounds. Let's just see now. We can make so much ammo. make so much ammo I don't know why but I just don't feel like I need to spend it yet I'd, I think I'd rather die and then know that I need to spend it then you know ok let's take out these hand grenades ok so we're going to save up now Um. now that we've done that little sad bit with Cherry and then um, we'll come back and get into the orphanage and hopefully save it. So guys, thanks for watching this part and um, I'll see you next time.